what is up guys it is gamer apt4 with you today here um and we're doing our first top list here on apt4 and this will be a brand new series but today we are starting with the top 30 mlb ballparks to kick off the mlb opening month ish so let's get started number 30 is the tropicana field home of the race now what i don't like about this is it's well, it is a great nickname, by the way, the juice box, best name ever, because you're in this box that doesn't go up, it's a dome, not a retractable dome, and it's just, um, it's the boring, and the Rays aren't good recently, so it's not really a good field to watch, I heard the food service is terrible here, too, so, a field not to go to, and I see the Rays play, you, you can see the Rays play at some other great AL fields. So number 29 is the Oakland Almeda Coliseum, home of the A's, which is our 29th spot. And here's the thing about this. This could go up in a few years. Why? Because there's a team called the Raiders who are moving to Vegas. I'm going to think that the A's are going to keep this um, ballpark since they're not getting a lot of money at the moment. Since the A's, of course, they're getting loads of money because they're in the MLB, but are the A's good at the moment? No, go back a hundred years. Were they the best team? Yes. You see, this is a problem. They're more of a hit, an ex historic team. But I think Oakland fans of the A's um, will love this field more as the years come. Other than that, it is like a, it's, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like more of like a dirt infield. It, it, that's more football. What am I talking about? But it's both football and baseball, which is a huge no-no. So number 28 is Guaranteed Rate Field, which is U.S. Cellular Park, home of the White Sox. The field that always changes names. But, um, what I do like is the, um, like, the screen area. Um, I do like that with all, like, the lights. I think they did that well, but other than that, it's a plain ballpark. There's really not much to say. I mean, it's a pretty hard place to get a home run, but still. I think it's still an interesting ballpark. And you have to note that the... Um, what do you call it? Even though it's pretty hard to get a home run, those walls um, in center field aren't high at all. So, but it's still hard with the proximity of it. Number 27 is Globe Life Park, home of the Rangers, which is number 27. And I like how the viewing areas are done. I just don't like the ballpark. Um, the Rangers, um, they've been pretty good. Um, recently, and I, I again I like the viewing areas. Um, I like the scoreboard, uh, but I don't like the ballpark. I just don't think it's appropriate for Texas, and I think I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, what, the reasons I don't like it, um, I don't. I think they could really redo this, even though it's a brand new feat, um, stadium, basically. I think they should really um, go with the Rangers, I feel, you know? This has nothing to do with the Texas Rangers. Unlike our next one, number 26, home of the Brewers. At least it has some Brewers theming going along. You don't really have Brewers theming, but, you know? But one thing that I hate about this ballpark is that, well, yes, yet again, most of the time the retractable dome is down. Which is something, again, for the next few, you notice that domes are horrible. Well, it's different than this in Tropicana Field. This, this dome actually can go retractable. This stadium looks beautiful. But it's not always like that. And most of the season, it's not like that. So, you know, so I really wish that this dome, you know, like, if the dome was down. But they have to do it because it's better. But I like uh, how the windows work. Um, and I also like how the advertisements are placed. Number 25 is SunTrust Park, future home of the Braves, and now the home of the Braves. Now, when I made this, um, I didn't record it. It's been a while, and I didn't publish it. But I'm redoing it, and now it's the home of the Braves. I didn't bother editing it. But now we can actually get photos, and, you know, it looks amazing. And I would move it up, but I don't feel like editing this. So, but still, um, solid ballpark. Um, I like the entrance. Kind of reminds me of City Field. My, never mind. Um. You'll have to wait till the end of this, but, um, I think it really relates to, um, what do you call it, to the Braves, um, you know, with all the A's everywhere, for Atlanta, you know, great ballpark. 
and home of the Blue Jays. You guys all know it. The Rogers Centre. Home of the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Yeah, but the Blue Jays have been a very, very, very great team in the AL recently. They've been dominating the AL. Um, 2016 was a great year for them. Um, they didn't make it to the World Series, but granted, they almost did. But like I was saying, um, the Blue Jays are, they, their ballpark is out of its time. It's huge. I don't know how to explain it. Their ballpark is, you know, it was the Sky Dome. Back in the 90s, it was like, the best, you know? Besides, like, Fenway Park and Yankee Stadium back in Wrigley Field back then, this was, like, incredible. Nothing has been ever done like this. Now, it's really outdated. Outdated is a good word for this. Number 23 is Minute Maid Park from the Astros, and I really like this. Um, I think it's actually better with the dome up. I don't know why, but this is a picture of it with the dome down, and, you know, you can see a little bit of Houston, but, and I do get, the one thing that I'm really miss, missing is a giant rocket ship that just stings from the ceiling or something, that would make things much better, but they have a good mascot that lives around, after you just orbit, or ask or whatever it is, it's a great mascot. Number 22 is Marlins Park, home of the Marlins, and this ball park, I think it's fantastic with the reactable dome up or down. It usually has it down, but on nice days, like recently, um, yesterday, as of when I'm recording this, they, would, they had it down, reversing the Mets, and I have no idea who they're reversing at the moment. They're reversing, yeah, St. Louis. But, yeah, but I really like the home run sculpture. Um, I think it's a great touch. Um, again, the windows and the advertisements play perfectly. Um, I, I think seating pretty good. Prices are good. I heard food is mint here, which is mint is actually okay for a ballpark. Besides hot dogs and deep fried stuff, you're really not getting good food. But other than that, I really think that Marlins Park is a great dome in one of the better um, ballparks in all of the MLB. It shrinks lower because there's some really good ones. Yankee Stadium, home of the Yankees, number 21. If you have hate, um, go to the comments and say that um, you think Yankee Stadium should have been in the top 10 at least. No, it shouldn't have. <sighs> Where to start? Well, it's a recreation of something older. Which is great and all, but... It's a recreation, and recreations are, will never be the same. If it was the original Yankee Stadium... Yeah, you're right, this would have been in the top 10. And I've been to this new Yankee Stadium myself, and I was younger back then. So, it was a an experience that I really didn't understand. I wasn't a huge baseball fan then. Of course, I've always hated the Yankees. The Yankees are horrible. Um, but yeah, and that's coming from a Red Sox and a Mets and a diehard Mets fan. So, yeah. I, th I think it is something to do with that I hate the Yankees, but this ballpark's a recreation and will never live up to the hype the old one did. Number 20, Safety Co Park from the Mariners. This team gets a lot of hate, and people don't really like them, but I think they've been doing okay in the past few months. In 2016, um, I think they really did great after the All-Star break. Well, great, but I think they really did okay after the All-Star break. And it's a good place to watch baseball, especially with the skyline. And, yeah, great. Number 19 is a great American ballpark. Home of the Red Stockings. I mean the Reds. They used to be called the Red Stockings. But, um, this team really goes with the team's, um, name, Red. There's Red everywhere. It really kind of, like, symbolizes it. Um, it's a Red ballpark. I don't understand really why it's not called Red Ballpark. But, it's even a newer, it's not, it's not the Great American Ballpark. Change that name to Red Ballpark and I'll be fine. It's just a Red Ballpark. They can't complain about that. Number 18 is Chase Field, home of the Diamondbacks. Which I think is, again, better with the retractable dome down. So it's just, just a regular building. I think the 
the windows are great, the advertisements are great, um, Chase Field, um, I think they do some great job with, um, Chase Field is a great job, um, I think the fans have a great time, um, and it just looks like a great field. Number 17 is Coors Field, home of the Rockies, and if it wasn't, if this wasn't in Colorado, this would have gone down. Colorado is known for its skyline, its mountaintops, and of course, the sky and the sunset. Catching a night game here, or like a 405 game here, in um, September, October-ish, would be amazing for you. It's a great experience to see that sky. It's so flat, and there's really nothing else around. It makes it nice. And not like <clears throat> Yankee Stadium, where all you're seeing is blinking lights from the buildings. Number 16 is Progressive Field, home of the Indians. And I think this field really got some love after the World Series this year. But, or 2016, I guess. Um, but I think um, it's a really modern stadium, even though it's kind of older. But it looks modern. Um, you can see downtown Cleveland. Um, um, and the capacity is pretty good. So, okay, but number 15, which is the halfway point. Is Angel Stadium, home of the Angels, and I consider this one of the elite ballparks. I consider the top 15 very close together, and it, it was hard to decide. But I think it's this because um, it really goes with the team's colors, um, the mountain in the background. I think, um, you know, is a very good touch, and you can hit a home run. It's very. I'm gonna say great to hit a home run here. You can hit it in that in that old mountain structure, and of course we have red colors again. Number 14 is Citizens Bank Park, home of the Phillies. Now this park usually people rank it back more, but I think that's great, great things about it. You can see Philadelphia if you're sitting in these I guess nose bleeder seats. You know, you can see you can see outside of it, which I think is pretty cool. Now, it isn't the comp. Now, I have been to this ballpark. It's in very close proximity to where I live, I guess. But I think um, they do a great job with um, home run stuff. Like when they hit a home run, kind of like City Field's home run apple, they crack the Liberty Bell. And they even have a Liberty Bell. Um, I think the Phillies do a great job. Of, but I think this ballpark would have been in the 20s without this one person. Hmm. He's a Philly fanatic. Number 13. Whatever. Park comp bag with that stuff. Um, yeah, but it's home of the Tigers. And, you know, you have, like, Paws the Tiger. And that's some Tiger stuff around. But I think they do a pretty good job at the stadium. But seeing downtown Detroit is really, or I guess midtown Detroit, whatever. It's a really cool experience for some. And it's great to watch baseball in it. Number 12 is National Park, and you could see the nation's capital from here. And I guess you can still kind of do, but now it's kind of blocked by these buildings that went around it, which, is that as good? No. For some reason, that W reminds me of Walgreens. And I, would rather, and I don't want to think of Walgreens, a pharmacy, instead of the Washington National. I'm sure there will be a whole video on that. Number 11 is Kauffman Stadium, home of the Royals. And to me, this looks more like a very good minor league stadium. Um, of course you have the crown and, you know, the Royals. Other than that, it's ballpark where you sit to watch baseball. There's really not much to it. Uh, the crown... And then it's a pretty old stadium, really helps with it, but that's why I think it's outside the top 10. Now, this and the number 10 spot were very arguable, and in the original list, this was number 9, actually. But number 10 is the amazing City Field, home of the amazing Mets. And this ballpark is great. Now, I'm 100% biased. That's the problem. If I was not a Mets fan, this probably would have been in... 15-ish, but this is number 10. I think it's it's great. You're seating everywhere. You have the whole run apple. You have um, the second best mascot in sports, Mr. Met. 
he did some great stuff. You know, the advertising plays perfectly. Um, and the only downfall with this park, and the reason it's not number one, just kidding, because there's airplanes from the JFK airport right there, you know? Yeah, I think City Field is a jewel in New York. Number nine is Bush Stadium, home of the Cardinals. And there's a lot to say about this place. There's red it, literally everywhere. There's more red than um, the Reds. And they have a lot of red. Um, I really think that the uh, I mean, I do really think that the archway is a perfect cut right right through the middle, but um alright, but um you can actually you know, there's buildings that you can see in St. Louis. So great I think it looks great to see them. It's like a great ballpark. And I mean these cardinals, not these ones. And somewhat these ones, but not the real white ones. Number eight is Target Field, home of the Twins, and the Twins are the worst baseball team. Enough said. I'm just kidding. But one thing that I do like is that you can see some of Minnesota. Um, well, that some of Minnesota. That's the dumbest thing I ever said. But I'm gonna get back to the actual ballpark. But um, this is a newer stadium, 2010. Um, that's enough said. Yeah, that's enough said. Said. Um, the Camden Yard is number seven, and that's home to the Orioles. And the Orioles, um, are an okay team in recent years. Um, great in history. The stadium looks elite. And everyone talks about the top five. This is just outside that, but great and all. And I plan to go to it in the near future. And no, oh, uh, wait, no. But PNC Park, home of the Pirates, I think it's great because you can see Pittsburgh. And that bridge is always a nice touch right on the water. Pittsburgh has some great sports stadiums and all. And this isn't a football list or any other sports list, so. I can't really include Pittsburgh in one, but PNC Park, it just looks great, especially with that bridge in the background. Number five is the ballpark I have been to, and it's the highest ranked ballpark I have been to on this list. And that's home of the Red Sox, Fenway Park, the Green Monster, the Sitgo sign, all the billboards in there, the John Hammock sign, the scoreboard, everything, all the history, the uncomfortable seats, all go with the history of the oldest ballpark and America's favorite ballpark. Number four is the 2016 World Series champion, the Chicago Cubs. This just has so much history that it's ahead of Fenway Park because look at it. The apartments nearby and the buildings nearby you can watch a perfect Cubs game and they, those are pretty good seats. So, there's not really much to say. It's an amazing ballpark. There's literally a apartment next to it that you can watch baseball in. Number three, the Dodger Stadium, one of the Dodgers. This is an older one. But I really think it's cool is on a mountainside, um, you can hit a home run close to a, into a forest. Kind of like Angel Stadium. Um, but, yeah, pretty cool. Um, of course, the Dodgers, there's no theme to that name, and they have no mascot that moves around. But, um, I think they did the stadium good for an older 50 stadium. Number two is AT&T Park, a home of the Giants. This is very, this is a great stadium in the San Francisco Bay. Um, well, one thing we're going to include is that Coca-Cola going into the baseball mint. You'll we'll always see that. But it also means the scoreboard and other things like party books are done very well. And number one is Petco Park, home of the Padres. This is an interesting choice. But the reason I'm doing it is because San Diego is a great backdrop. Um, California, all their baseball teams are great backdrops in various stadiums. But look at this place. It's right in the heart of the city. Um, I think seating goes around the whole ballpark. So you can really get a good seat. Prices are great. I heard food is good. It's, it just looks like a perfect ballpark. So there's a lot of debate between this, these top 10. But again, hope you enjoyed this video. So please give it a like. Okay.
comment. And I hope to see you subscribe and become a gamer. Shoot it!